women are told, either by their harassers or by others, that they won't be believed if they come forward. And they have know of enough experiences uh, of other women where not only were they not believed, but they were actually made to be the culprit in these situations. And with that background, with all the societal pressures, with the economic pressures of trying to keep a job, with the pressures of knowing that you need a reference from this job to get the next one, women uh, very often choose to try to get out of the situation or deal with it as best possible at the time and move on to the next in the future. Do, do you think that's what, in, in essence, happened to you, that you came forward and they didn't believe you? That in some ways you were made to be the culprit? Yes, indeed, that is, is what happened. And I think that anyone raising a claim of sexual harassment has to understand that there is a great potential for that occurring. But what, what you can only ask for, and what I think most of us would ask for, is a fair hearing. Do you think you got a fair hearing? No, I, I don't think that it was a hearing on the issue. And in that sense, no. It was a hearing on? It, I, I am not going to analyze what the hearing was on. And, and I can't say enough that we need to get beyond those hearings. Because I think what those hearings come down to is me against him. And that, we need to move beyond that. Because for many people, that issue is, is already decided. It's already decided. So the question is, where do you go from here?